from Buffalo TV. We're here today with amateur transplants frontman Adam Kay. Uh, he's had over 20 million hits on YouTube and he's had three number one albums in the iTunes comedy charts. How are you, Adam? I'm all right. Tired but well. Tired and wet but well. Yeah, so yeah the, the Edinburgh way. Yeah. <laughs> That's Edinburgh for you. Yeah. Uh, so tell us a bit about your show. Uh, it's called Adam Kay's Bum Notes. Uh, it's essentially me sat at a grand piano swearing at strangers for an hour. Yeah. That's probably what it, what it boils down to in essence. A uh, you know, uh, bunch, of, bunch of songs and the uh, story of my last year, really. All right, brilliant. Uh, so you started writing these songs originally in 1998 at medical school. Yeah. Right? yeah. I've had an unusual career trajectory, uh, yeah. I guess, for a comedian in that I originally trained as a doctor and then worked yeah. as a doctor for a few years before I realised I was terrible at it yeah. and then uh, to the delight of my parents obviously uh, switched to having uh, a comedy and that's uh, now uh, what I do, all I do and uh, yeah, it's much better because uh, I can drink at work. Yeah. <laughs> um, so what was Sorry, I can drink at work legally, I could always drink at work yeah. but it was frowned upon. Just not allowed, yeah. Um, so what was it about medical school that made you start writing? What was it that first inspired you to start doing sort of musical comedy? Um, well, there's always been a long tradition um, at medical schools and amongst universities uh, of uh, putting on a big Christmas show at the end of the year and everyone having a go. And essentially it's a hobby that I started there that's uh, just got really out of hand. Uh, so, uh, uh, yeah, and I, I got very lucky when I was doing stuff at university and got spotted by some people and ended up doing bits and bobs of writing for other people. And uh, yeah. Oh, so, yeah, so there we are. Uh, and you were originally on Two Part, weren't you? Yeah. The Amateur Transplants. Yeah. And you're a solo act now. Yeah, it's, uh, it's just me doing, doing the same uh, same smarts, yeah. but uh, the other bloke is back doing uh, hospital medicine. All right, wow, yeah. So, right. so now it's incompatible having two full time jobs. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, so London Underground was probably your biggest yeah. song, wasn't it? Yeah, very much so. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Had a huge amount of. Uh, internet traffic. Uh, I guess due to everyone that sort of shared hatred amongst yeah. not only Londoners but anyone who's ever been to London yeah. of, uh, of, uh, of the Tube Network. Yeah, I was actually a massive fan of that song at school. I know every word right. from the song. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's brilliant. Um, so uh, why should people come and see your show at the Fringe this year? Oh, goodness. Uh, I don't really know. Uh, it's, uh, I think it's. I think it's funny. It's. Uh, I'm. I'm very honest and uh, talking about uh, my life over the, the last year. I've had a very exciting year involving um, being in hospital for a quarter of it when my leg stopped working and uh, all sorts of exciting surgery and having a look at myself and uh, um, plus a um, big load of swearing and, uh, and piano and. Uh, Critics have been very kind to it so far, so uh, so hopefully it's hopefully it seems to be a good show. Yeah, brilliant. Well, you've been coming to the Fringe since 2005 now, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So what is it about the Fringe that keeps bringing you back? Is it the audience or? Yeah, it's it's really it's it's a number of things. Well, it's yeah. it's hugely fun. I I get a lot out of it. Uh, it's a chance to see all of my comedy friends in one place, um, see a lot of shows. Uh, and also, I worry that if you don't do the Fringe one year, everyone assumes that you've stopped doing comedy yeah. and, uh, and disappeared off the map. So uh, the, uh, the the machine of uh, of uh, promoter and PR and whatever behind me, uh, I, th I think, uh, are very keen that I, <laughs> yeah. I continue turning up. And also, I wouldn't know else what else to do in yeah. in August. It's uh, it's my routine now, and yeah. uh, and I love it very much. Oh, that's brilliant. Uh, well, thank you very much for coming and speaking to us today. No, yeah, thanks for uh, having me. If people want to come and see Adam's show, Bum Notes. You can see it until the 27th, is it? Yeah. That's right, at, at 7 o'clock. <laughs> at 7 o'clock at the Pleasance Courtyard. Right. Right, it's been great speaking to you. I'm Lucinda Shell, and you're watching Waffle TV. Thank you.